Good morning. So it's um, October 15th, 2017. It's a Sunday morning here in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Want to address a few things. And, you know, it always, it's always um, when you get close to the target, it gets very loud, uh, very bumpy. People start to, start to knee jerk. All right, so just bear with that. That's normal. Right? It's a good sign. It's a good sign. People start losing. People start losing their minds. Start losing their shit because <clears throat> they know we're over the target. So I want to. I want to. Um, I, I just address a few things. Um, thank you very much. I've, I have. Um, have. It's a flood. You know, a lot of new people. A lot of people are coming forward. It, it seems like a lot of people are waking up. And um, I appreciate that. Uh, you should appreciate it. It's for you. You know, this is for you. It's not for me. You know. Again, this is not charity work for me. Don't don't ever, you know, mistake it for what it is. Okay. I'm not. I am a. I believe in freedom and you know and equal rights and equal opportunity. But restitution for harm done is is absolutely necessary in this case. Okay. So, but anyway. Um, Bring new characters in, um, you know, Mr. Unknown. Call you the Great Unknown. Thank you. Um, people are waking up, you know, and 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 it's a good, it's a really, it's a really good thing. I wanna, I wanna uh, thank people for watching this. You know, I, I, I realize that, um, I realize that, you know, you, you're trying to figure out why, why is this guy doing this? Why is he doing this? Why, why make a public spectacle of yourself when it's really about a, uh, a, a very private situation? And that's a, that's, that's a valid, that's a valid reason, but it's, it, it has, it has proven to not, it has proven to not be effective. I think we're living in troubled times where the you know the, the the city and the the state and the government agencies are all one and it's very politicized and it becomes very hard for people like you and I to to, to have our voices heard so um, doing this in a, in a in a public forum is uh, is 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 important so um, w what I want to say is that uh, thank you for your concern I'm not on drugs. I'm not crazy. Um, I do have a. Uh, the last time I, last time I did drugs was uh, August seventeenth, nineteen ninety four. So it was about twenty three years ago. So I live a very clean lifestyle. It's very early in the morning, walking around, just me and the dogs and the pigeons, and. Um, I run, I exercise, I'm a vegetarian, actually vegan, and I take care of myself. I'm 53 years old. Uh, I, do, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Okay, so there is, there is humor and there is sarcasm and there is um, creativity in, in doing something like this. So if I seem crazy at times, if I seem out of my mind at times just you know it's it's a combination of two things one it's it's uh show business or entertain entertaining for you but it's also the uh i i'm not a perfect human being you know so i'm under i'm getting hit from five or six or seven different angles sometimes at once so um, so that that's all. I just wanted to clarify that that I'm not. I I, 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 res I appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate the crowd looking out for me, thinking that you know my is this guy is this guy crazy? There are damages, but you know, in terms of the case, but financial damages, emotional damages. But that's not that's that's outside of the realm of active drug addiction and guys. Maybe he's smoking crack or something, and he's. You know, or he's shooting heroin or smoking pot. I, you know, no, not not the case at all. Not the case at all. But thank you for asking.
So I want to I want to um, I want to tell a story, right? This um, <sighs> yeah, there's a story I wanted. This this might this might help um, people understand something about. We're diving into something very deep right now, which which is uh, you know racism and um, discrimination and. I want to tell you where I came from. I want to tell you who I am. Everything, I'm doing this as an open book. You can look at my, you know, life uh, by reading the, the, you know, the case down below. Everything is in there. Is, you know, even my criminal record is in there, you know, from the, from the drug addiction days. Um, you could read it, you know. I have nothing to hide. Open book. So I want to, I want to tell you, you know, when I came into as a sanitation enforcement agent, who am I? Came in as a sanitation enforcement agent, and I I took that job, and where I where I had been living was uh, basically mostly downtown Manhattan. I had lived in um, lived on you know Soho, and I lived in Chinatown, and I lived in Washington Heights. I lived all over Manhattan, East Village, and I had lived what 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 you would. I guess call a bohemian lifestyle where I'm a musician, you know, I don't make any, I don't hide that. I'm, you know, I'm the ghost of Brooklyn. I've been in a, you know, crazy Barney Rubble and the cunt stubble. You look all this stuff up, can't make it up. I've also written spiritual books, uh, The Psychic Investor, um, under different various names. Wake yourself up. But anyway, um, and you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs, and between ten and fifteen bands. So I lived this kind of lifestyle where people were um, pretty much not. There was no identity politics. Pretty much the same. So if you were black or you were white or you were Hispanic or Chinese or Japanese or you know. <laughs> gay or straight or fat or skinny or large or small or big or tall it didn't matter you know where I, where I came from it didn't matter you know and we were um, you were judged on the, 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 the content of your character more so the, the, the extent to your creativity right artists writers right and you know, I spent, I'm, I'm, I, as I said, I'm in my 50s. I spent all my 30s and three quarters of my 40s um, in this kind of lifestyle. So then I take the sanitation enforcement test and I, you know, I, for whatever reason, I, 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 I now live in, I live out in Bay Ridge. And I take this test and, um, you know, civil service test. And when I got called, I was optimistic and, and I was... I was ready to do it and I was excited about, you know, this idea of working for the city of New York, city that I grew up in, and keeping the streets clean and all that stuff, right? And so I want to I wanna fast forward into the class because this, that's where the, the, that's where the clash, the clash occurred, the clash of ideas because I, I'm also, as I mentioned in another video, I'm a... Uh, I, I, I'm very into meditation, so sometimes if I seem sleepy or if my, you know, I, I, that's that's a result of the meditation. That's not that's not the wow, this guy's a pothead. Right? It's not it's not what it is. So, so I was into this, you know, very very meditative thing and uh, coming out of the creative community, and and it was December uh, 2015, and we were in that class. And, you know, and it's all very subtle, you know, it's all very subtle, the racism, the discrimination, right? And I know, I realize that it's not my, I have never once, I have never once said that, you've never heard me say that the agents, my, my uh, immediate agents, you know, my, my colleagues had anything whatsoever to do with this, right? My, my, my beef is with the with, with management in that class it started with Pascal Greenwood Garnett okay to set the race the racist you know tone so so we were in that class and you know and, and like I said I came from this place of t total um, 
you know, everybody was the same. Every there was no there, there was no you know, I'm black, you're white, you're this guy's this, that, the other thing. Everybody was the same. It's like, you know, how's your band doing? You know, uh, how's your art, you know? All right, so it was again December 15th, 2000 December 2015 and it was the 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 media was buzzing with the Eric Gardner case where the very large uh, black cigarette salesman, Lucy salesman out in Staten Island, Forest Avenue, 400 pound man gets tackled by two white NYPD police officers. And we all saw the video where, you know, the cops jump on the guy's back and tackle him and, you know, the horror of trying to wrestle a very large man to the ground for no real reason. For what? Selling Lucy cigarettes on the street? So, now, again, you got you to gotta put, put it in perspective. I'm in a class and the entire class, for whatever reason, is mostly Hispanic and black, under 30. I'll assume that there were no criminal records or drug histories or any of those things. You know, everybody is pretty much, you know, the, the American Christian Catholic type, right? And here I am, this this kind of, you know, older white <laughs> guy with his eyes half closed meditating and you know, has doesn't have a real, really a racist bone in his body. Is just kind of there, you know, and and um, you know, and there's this case buzzing around Black Lives Matter, and people are people are are exercised about it, you know, and and to me, I watched the video again, my background, who I am, and I and I saw what I saw, what two aggressive on the young side police officers wrestling a uh, a man to the ground you know and and um, and I saw bad policing you know I saw bad policing I said why don't you know why don't you throw a net over the guy or something you know and and, and but but the class and most importantly the instructors of this class because Look, you're in a class and people step on each other. You know, people that were in that class, you know who I am. You know, you know, we weren't really, we weren't really best of friends that we, that there was, there was tension. But that's okay. That's, that's what's called healthy competition. That's, that's, that's people in a class, you know, clashing ideas and actually competing because you are in competition with each other. But when you, when you bring in supervisory, where they have discretion over your job and they have, you know, rule of law over your job. That's a different story, right? And so that's where the discrimination was because for me, I looked out and I looked out into the, I looked at that situation and I, I saw one thing and the, the supervisors and, and leaders of this class saw it a different way. And most of the people in the class kind of went along with that, you know, like that was, that, that it was racism, that, that these were white racist cops jumping this black man, right? And it, it, could, it, it, it could very well have been that, but really when you watch the video, it was police of all different colors surrounded, and it was, it was, it was uniform. They were pretty much gave the, you saw the two cops wait for the supervisors to arrive on the scene, the supervisors gave the word to arrest him. You saw them nod and boom, they, they, they do what New York cops do. They, you know what's coming, right? So, but here, here's the part of it. Here's the part of it that I wanted to get to. I, I, I realize I'm going, going long on this, but there was, um, there was one particular person in this class that this, this pretty much sums up what I'm trying to say in this whole thing is that there was one person in the class and you, you probably know who you, you, you know who you are if you watch this, you'll, you'll hear. You'll, you'll make the reference, um, but th this person kind of became a friend, and we were having a conversation about that one on one about this this um, incident. And he said to me, he said, um, he said, well, you know, 
as a as a as a black man, you know, living in America, I I saw such and such and such, right? and I, and 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 it occurred to me, like I don't know what he said after that. I I couldn't tell you because because he said it all in that statement. Like I didn't, I I wasn't. He said he identified himself as a black male, right? And and I I never I never it, it never occurred to me, based on where I was from, that where I had come from, that he was a black male and I was a white male. I didn't it didn't it never it didn't occur to me at that moment. Like I hadn't I had left those kind of you know gargles behind years and years ago, and I didn't see it in terms of identity like that and. So I, I then realized, and that was very helpful. And I, I realized after that 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 to to verbally to verbally argue as a white male that the incident of Eric Gardner had something to do with policing and not one hundred percent to do with racism was was to be interpreted as actually being a racist, right? Like I, I became, I understand that I became, in your eyes, because of the the setup. I was the racist. Like Conti is, is defending the cops. No, I didn't defend the cops. I said the cops were bad, were bad policing. Right, but it it it's. I, I left it open. I did not see it as I saw a, a very belligerent individual, you know, resisting resisting arrest and all that stuff. But but the, the greater point is that for a for a white person to dispute that or not even dispute it. It's not, it's not about disputing. It was about it was about. A clash of ideas about it was discussion. That's what it was, right? And in that discussion, for me to have not sided one hundred percent with the with the black in a black class with black supervisors who clearly favored black black issues, right? Was to be was to be a racist. Was to to be to 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 not to not be sympathetic to the plight of the black people. And I just fundamentally disagree with that, but I, I I do understand it, and and that's that's the hurdle here. That's that's the real hurdle, right? Is that I'm not I'm not a racist. I'm not a, a bigot. I'm not. I, I'm just this. You know, I I understand your projection. You're projecting all of these. You know, the supervisors wanted and teachers wanted to project this because that's all they have. You know, that's their world. The world's very small to them, right? And their uh, interaction with white people was, you know, that of racism. But all people are not the same, you know? That's, that's where discrimination, that's why this is discrimination. That's the essence of the case. However subtle, that's where it stemmed. And then the lashing out. You know the, the 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 piling up of bullshit, the 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 the, um, the fake write-ups, the the you know the the pin the tail on Conti, following him around, trying to catch him doing something, and the witch hunt. It's a witch hunt. So I hope that that's more clear. I realize again, I'm, I'm going on and on about this stuff, and um, you know I'll try not to be as crazy if you want. You know? But I I do appreciate new people coming into the fold. Um, and uh, even if I don't agree with you, I, I really appreciate you chirping in. If you feel like um, you know you still have to be, you still want to live in the shadows, that's fine. I'll, I'll make up a, a name, you know, and, and we'll I will talk about it because it's important. All right, thank you very much.